Hey, it's Joe Glines, and in this video, I'm just demonstrating a script um, that Maestrieth wrote for me, um, and I paid him, so I'm not sharing the script, but I still like to get the concept out there that it's possible, right? Um, if you are fortunate enough to have an Android, you can easily automate texting. The price for um, Push Bullet, which is the, the tool I use, is pretty cheap. I can't remember what it is for an annual thing, but I, th I think it's like $2 a month or something. Um, to, to have the service. So um, this is my GUI and let me go ahead and I'm gonna, actually, you know what, before I import it, let me show you, um, here's the phone list. Let me get rid of the white space. So there's, I have my headers and then I have, um, notice the phone formats. I have three different formats here just to demonstrate it. So this one has the old style, um, then it's the more European look. And then here's one without anything in it at all, but I'm bringing in their, you know, first, last name, phone number, and city it could be whatever you want whatever you want to do like a mail merge on with your texting so let me get back to my push bullet app i'm going to import the list and so i can import a tab delimited file um, and it pops it in here and so here are the people um and what cities they're in and so now if i actually let's let's say i wanted i could send all i can say check all you know or check none um i'll send one to myself here um, and my message, oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize I shrunk my screen down. Um, this is normally a lot bigger, but I, I tried to, I wanted the font to be bigger for this video, but for, it, for our purposes should still hopefully still work without a problem. So hello. And then I, I wrap it with the percents first name. So you just look at your headers, right? Oops. And let's see, first I can also do, I can say send a test message and this way it'll send it, it defaults to whatever I put in here. Um, oh, actually, sorry. I'll send it to my Google voice number. Of course I have a hot string for that. Um, and then it's gonna go ahead and deploy it here and in a second, oh, actually I got the, I, oh, that's interesting. I got the text in push bullet, but for some reason I can't drag it to the other screen. Um, oh, here it comes. Oh, it, sorry. It was it was my hangout, so I got the message. Um, so hello, Joe. How are you? And actually, that's that came from my phone, right? Um, so that's how it would look. Actually, let me go back because I had first name right. So it's hello, Joe. So notice it piped in my name. Um, let's say how are in city. And this time, instead of doing a test message, it won't matter because I just have myself, I'm going to send message. And it's going to give me an example of one of them. So if I had a bunch, it's just one example. But this is nice because I can proofread it before it deploys and say, oh, it actually it is piping in the right things. I didn't have a typo. So I'm going to send them all. That again is going to come back to me. I'll go back to Hangouts. Why is that not updating here? It updated on my other screen. Audra, how are you? Let me crank click off it. It's just not updating at all. What is going on with this? I send myself a lot of text, by the way. Um, I don't understand why. I mean, I got the text. This is something with Hangout. It's not with the... My thing, this should have updated. Um, it came through. So anyway, you get the idea. Um, another cool thing that uh, makes sure built in for me, let's say for whatever reason, I wanted all the cities to be the same. I can say check all and I'm gonna change, actually let me check this box first. And I'm gonna change the city to, oh, oh, darn it. So I, actually, I'm not sure the order of this. So see, I can update all of them at once. Of course, I can all update all their first names or the name of the business or an industry or whatever I want. Um, it's just a nice feature. Or I can come through and I can say, I want to delete one of these. So um, delete check number. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. And so that'll get rid of it. I can actually save messages and pull them up. So that way they're frequently used ones. I don't have to worry about it. This, by the way, I have a seven second delay in between each one um, because it literally goes through your phone and um, on one of my friend's phones who didn't have a good internet connection, it was, it was um, 
going too fast for the phone to keep up. And so we were missing some. And so I allowed either a five at the minimum or seven, 10, 12, up to a 20 second delay. And if you're not in a hurry, who cares, right? Um, so you can send it out with a 20 second delay and just cruise through them. Um, you can pause it. If I had all these checked and you're in the middle of it, you can stop sending it, which is nice because you might realize in the middle of it, like something went wrong. Um, also, like if you have multiple phones, so these are the different phones I've had on my um, push bullet account. And so like actually one of these, I think this one is my son's phone. Um, so I could send it through his phone or I, and I was sending it through my client's phone too. Um, and so um, I had different accounts. I guess I haven't imported them lately into this version of it, but um, you can have a different API key. That's what you get from push bullet. And I think that's about it. I can export this. I can add a header row. I can, I can actually save the name of my list. I don't, there we go. Um, so notice that that puts up here and it always puts in the date after. So this is the first part of it, but then I can select between my um, different lists so I can have save lists and I don't have to go and import them every time. So as you can see, it's a decently robust tool that allows me to automate texting. And I'll tell you what, um, I worked in email marketing for years and, you know, generally speaking in business, you're lucky if you're getting, you know, like a 5% click through rate, um, it may be a 10 to 15% open rate, sometimes 20 ish, but, um, texting, I was texting people and I seriously was getting probably like an 80% response rate. It was insane. Um, so if you have phone numbers, um, I definitely think it's a great way to, and, and what's great is with this mail merge, you can make it look like you're having a personal conversation with someone. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons why they write directly back to you is because they literally think you were typing them a message and they feel obligated to get back to you. So, um, if you just wanted to go reach out to people and pipe, say, how are things in, you know, the city or ask them how it's going in their industry or how are things at their company, right? And you insert their company name um, as, as well as their first name. It's a super easy way to keep in touch with your customers. Uh, that's it. Have a great day and happy new year. Bye.